Right, hi guys and welcome back to another video on PlanSwift. Right, so in a previous video, we actually covered on how do you create your, uh, how do you create a customized uh, length measurement, right, how to create thickness. So, right, so let's do a quick recap, right, I'll be adding something uh, new to this. So we actually covered that a standard length measurement will just be a length on its own just like this. Okay, so there's no thickness to it whatsoever. So for those who are looking to add the thickness itself, okay, you will change the you will change the uh, width function, right? So when I open up the advanced tool, there is a width at the bottom. I can tick the box such that it opens up under my form, and I can key in the width. So let's say zero point two. So once I have the width, you will see the thickness of that item itself. Okay, so the new thing that we'll be learning today is how do you add in a hatch pattern, right, the hatch pattern. So now the hatch pattern is actually found under your field type. So if you do not prefer a solid uh, hatch pattern, you can just switch to hatch pattern itself. They will ask you for what sort of hatch pattern you want. So currently there are only this few of hatch patterns for you to choose from. So let's say if I select brick, right, uh, select your color also. So I can say I want maybe a green color. Right, once I click on that, you notice it does not appear. Right, it does not appear because you have already done an initial measurement. So you cannot change, you cannot set the hatch pattern after you have done the measurement. Right, you have to do it before you even do your measurement. Right, so the idea is of course, you have to follow the steps. You have to create the customized uh, template first. And when you create the template, you key it in. Right, so that should be the proper way. Okay, so uh, assuming that all this has been done already, so if I have my width here, I will turn this on, okay, and I go on the form. Now, before I even do my measurement, this will be my setting. So my setting will be under hatch pattern. I can say that the hatch style, I want it to be brick. Uh, width, I'll put in 0 0.2. So all these things are done before the measurement, right? And if I were to measure, you see that the pattern comes up, all right? So now, depending on how big or how thick your wall is, you may need to change the hatch pattern scale. Okay, so right click on it, under properties, you can change the scale directly. So by default it's 0 0.25, you can change it to something like 0 0.1, and it will showcase much more obviously. Okay, so after you change it to 0 0.1, you will see that the, uh, the, the pattern comes out. Okay. So something to take note when you work with hatch patterns, um, some drawings uh, may already have the patterns on the drawing itself. So some architects, when they send you the drawings, uh, uh, let's say for example like this, this is, this is one such example. Some of them may already have the pattern there. So if you're looking to actually apply your pattern over, uh, this may in turn confuse you, right? So just uh, use it or when it's more when, when it makes more sense for you so it makes more sense when you have this kind of blank walls okay blank walls and perhaps the legend will tell you what kind of finish it is or what kind of type of wall it is then these hash patterns will come in handy for that right so i hope uh, today's uh, video has helped you out thank you see you again